Hello and welcome to Plant 3D with the Experts. My name is Jason Drew. I'm a designated support specialist with Autodesk. And today's topic we'll be discussing is project setup for AutoCAD Plant 3D. So about eight years ago when I started using the first releases of AutoCAD Plant 3D 2010, um, I was very hesitant about going into project setup and making changes for fear of breaking the project or causing issues. But after a few weeks of being in project setup and making those changes, I started to understand what I needed to adjust and where I could make those changes. And I became much more comfortable with editing project settings. So we hope by the end of the session today, you'll have that added confidence and understand what you need to set up um, to get your project going for a project team. So we first want to point out how to get into project setup. Now I'm currently here in AutoCAD Plant 3D 2020. And if I go up here to the ribbon bar under the uh, home tab and the project panel you can see there's a project manager button and if I click that I can select here that I want to go to project setup and that will open it the other option is to type in project setup on the command line as shown here or we can go through project manager and if I right click on the project name I can select the option of project setup at the bottom of the list so when you open project setup you'll be presented with the window as shown here You'll notice there's several categories for settings, starting with the general settings. And below that, you'll find the different categories for the different drawing types. For example, PNID, Plant 3D, Isometric, and Ortho Drawings. Okay, so let's go through the individual sections of project setup, starting here with the general settings. So if we click up here and go to Database Setup, this is going to show you if you have a local SQLite database or if you have a SQL Server configured for the project. So you really can't change this setting, it's informational only. Uh, if you have SQL Server, you're gonna see your SQL Server name, the database prefix being used for the databases on the SQL Server, and the type of authentication that's turned on there. If we go to Drawing Properties, this is where you can set any kind of custom property you'd like to have on the drawings themselves, the actual project drawings here. Now this applies to PNID drawings, uh, Plant 3D drawings, and also ortho drawings. So you can set that in there. And basically what you can do off to the, um, the left hand pane here, you'll see the custom categories. So you can have different categories for the properties and then you can add rows in here uh, to create your own custom properties to fill in. And then you can apply those settings down here by clicking this button and then continue on to make further adjustments in project setup. So the next section we have is file name format. This allows you to define property values that can be typed in to define the file name. And so when you create a new drawing, you'll be prompted for these uh, values that are put in here. So we'll go ahead and add a new property. Uh, we'll just use test for this example. And we'll leave that as string. Now you can use uh, numeric as well or you have the option to select from data tables that are in the project. For example, um, the pipes, pipeline services, insulation types, things like that. You can select those from the list as well. And next we set the length, the maximum length of this field, all the way up to 255 characters. We'll just put this on to 20. And then you can set a delimiter here for separation of the different properties that you, that you defined. So go ahead and add another one here. We'll just use, um, we'll use area for this and we'll set this to be a numeric value, maximum length of two characters. Okay. So if I go ahead and create a new drawing, we can see how this works. I'll go ahead and type in here, uh, just call this my drawing and I'll give it an area number. Now notice how it, it limits me to two characters as I set it in the project setup. And we have the option to override this if necessary. We can click this checkbox and then you can type in whatever you need the drawing name to be. All right, I'll click OK. All right, so moving on to the project paths. This is going to be the uh, template locations and drawing directories for the project, uh, the types of drawings in the project. For, for example, PNIDs, Plain 3D Orthos, you can set where those folders are. Uh, now keep in mind with a standard 
just a SQL Server or SQLite project, you can adjust the drawing directories. But for Vault or Cloud Collaboration projects, um, it's not possible to change the drawing directory. Those directories have to stay uh, as a subfolder of the um, project itself. So this would allow you to go in and change. Let's say you have a PNID uh, drawing template that you want to use that's common across the network. You can adjust that here by clicking the button off to the side and you can browse to the location of that template file. And you can do that for all of these here, the different drawing types. Okay, so moving on to project details. This is going to be general information about your project. For example, the name, description, and number of the project. There's also some options in here, for example, asking for the work history when drawings are open or closed that will prompt the um, designer to put in some information uh, when they close or, or open a project drawing. Uh, you can define the location of the project reports uh, and the related files folder for the project itself. Now, the, the reports, you may want to put those in a common folder for the project team if you're sharing a set of, of custom reports and related files uh, usually is underneath the project itself, but you can also direct that outside the project. Now, once again, with Vault or Cloud Collaboration projects, the related files folder has to stay underneath the subfolder of the project. The custom properties section is gonna allow you to add uh, additional information about your project if need be. Uh, we'll just say location here, site location. And then we can add some additional rows here if we wanted to put the, uh, let's say the state and the uh, address. And then maybe we'll put the uh, physical address of the location. And here we can add that and then these values can be filled out. So these custom properties can be used in project reports. They can also be used um, on things like annotations uh, or into uh, actual drawing objects and things like that. So in the tool palette group association section, you can set uh, the tool palettes that are gonna be used whenever you open the project. Now this uh, is an older setting here for AutoCAD PNID &ID standalone. This setting here is for Plant 3D. So for example, you could set if you wanted to open by default the PNID palettes versus the um, 3D piping components palette. Uh, Interactive Zoom is an option for Data Manager, and this is going to control how far it zooms in whenever you're using the Interactive Zoom by selecting an object and then zooming on to the uh, zooming to that object by selecting it in Data Manager. So you can control that here with this setting. The Report section allows you to modify and adjust the standard reports that come with uh, AutoCAD Plant 3D. So things like the Control Valve List line list, valve list, things of that nature are all listed here. And you can mo you can modify any one of these if you'd like, if you need to add or remove. Uh, if you need to add or remove any properties, you can select those, turn those on and off here. Um, and then you can also sort these if you want to change the order of the columns in the report. So these are going to be uh, any of the, the uh, reports that you see in Data Manager. So if we want to create a new report, we can click the new the button here for new. So that allow you to start with a existing report and then modify as necessary. So maybe if you want to create a customized valve list, you can start there, um, give it a new name. And you can also replace tables in here. So for example, if I wanted to change the hand valves, I could modify that to a different table. If I wanted to go down into a certain specific type of valve, I could, for example, do that here. So then I click continue, and then it's gonna prompt me for uh, the properties that I wanna have in there, and then the sort order of the fields. So the next option here is shared plant content. Um, now this is really not used anymore as far as changing it from this location. Um, the shared content would be modified from either a command uh, within a drawing or you could go through Plant 3D Spec Editor and adjust the path uh, from there as well. This is written into the uh, Windows Registry and does require administrator rights to modify that path. Thank you for joining today's session. We hope you've learned a bit more about project setup with AutoCAD Plant 3D.